Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to export a virtual machine from VirtualBox and then import it into VMware Workstation. Uh, so there's a couple different things to look at when you're doing this. And I've tried multiple different ways and I'll show you which way seems to work the best for me. So I have this Windows 10 virtual machine powered off. I'm going to export this from VirtualBox and then import it into my VMware Workstation Pro 16 environment. So what you want to do first is go to File, Export Appliance. You would think it'd be called Export Virtual Machine, but they call it Export Virtual Appliance because you might be exporting something besides a virtual machine, I suppose. So you have these settings here. Um, these are going to be more specific for if you're going from VirtualBox to VirtualBox. That you can kind of keep your license and description and, and that kind of thing within the VM. So when you import it, you'll have that stuff go with it. So now, okay, so when you get here, you're going to have three different options for format, 0.9, 1, and then 2. And then you're going to have the location where you want to export it, and then you're going to have your MAC address policies. So you could either include all the NAT network adapter MAC addresses, include all network adapter MAC addresses, this was actually only NAT, and then strip all the network adapter MAC addresses. And then you have stuff like if you have an attached ISO files, you could include that. It's just going to take up more space and write a manifest file. So I've tried several different ways, and I have them here. So I have, I did version 2, just as is, and let's, I'll show you what happens when we, imp, when we try to import that. You just go to File and Open, and if I do the version 2, I get all these unsupported elements for Ethernet and storage, and I've kind of read there's ways to get around it, but it's not very uh, straightforward. And then I, what I also did, I have another version modified, and then I have a version 1 modified, and I'll show you what I mean by modified in a second. So what I did to make it work is I did version 1, and before I exported it, I went into the VM settings, went to network, and unchecked any network adapters that I might have been using, and then I also started the VM first and uninstalled the... Uh, the VM VirtualBox tools, you know, like the VMware Workstation has its tools, the VirtualBox, you know, the add-ons that it has, and then I rebooted it, then I shut it down again, and so, like I said, so uninstall those tools, go to your network, disable any network adapters, and then go back to the export, uh, do version 1, and then strip all network MAC addresses, and then I also uncheck this. This might matter, it might not, I'm not sure. And then when you're ready, click on export, and that'll take, you know, a little bit of time depending how big your virtual machine is. So I've already had that done. So this is the one we're going to use, version 1 modified. And then you, like I said, go into VMware Workstation, File, Open. We're going to do version 1 modified. And then we're going to call this... Uh, Import Windows 10, and you could change your location if you want. I set my uh, default uh, VM location path from the settings in VMware Workstation, so I don't have to change it each time. Otherwise, I put it in your documents. Then click on Import, and then you're going to get this message saying, Import failed because blah, 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 did not pass OBS specification conformance or virtual hardware compliance checks. So if you want to relax the specification and try again, you can click on retry. So we're going to let this uh, import here, and then we'll uh, be back and we'll fire it up and see what happens. Okay, so the uh, virtual machine has been exported, and now I'm in my VMware VMs folder here, and I can see we have the imported Windows 10 virtual machine and the disk files right there. So if we go back to... VMware Workstation, and we start it up. We'll see what happens here. You probably, you probably won't get this message unless you're running Hyper-V as well, so don't worry about that. Now, one thing I noticed on the version 1, if I didn't uh, uninstall the tools and disable the network adapters, I kind of had the uh, Windows startup stream kind of little circle that kicks in. Uh, spinning and spinning for a little while, this thing here, and it kind of froze. But once I did this version, 
after making the modifications, it seemed to, it still took a little time, but it eventually started up, so that should happen in this case too. Okay, so took a couple minutes there, and now we got our login screen. So let's see what happens here. And while that's loading, let's take a look at the uh, settings here for our hardware. So we just have our same membrane processor, same size hard disk, no uh, network adapter because we took it off the other one, so you'll have to add one uh, manually after everything's set and done, then install the VMware tools. So now we have our VM here uh, ready to go, and looks like it should be working okay. So yeah, like I said, just go to... Uh, when you export it, make sure you uninstall the um, VirtualBox add-in tools and strip all the network adapters out of here. Um, use version 1.0 and then in the virtual machine settings, go to the network and then disable any network adapters you have in there. And then reboot after you uninstall the tools and then shut it down and export it as that version 1. And then import it into... VMware Workstation, and you should be good to go. Um, by the way, so let's see, I'm using, just in case you have a little version conflict and you want to see how your versions compare to mine, 6.2 for VMware Workstation, and 6.1.3 for VirtualBox. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.